Welcome to Hypnosis Health Info. I'm Roger Moore. Just had a, a Skype session with a client. He's a, a college student that was originally from here on Bainbridge Island and is now off to college in another state and is continuing his weight loss and, and doing really, really well. And in our conversation today, in our session today, uh, the subject came up about uh, energy drinks. And he was talking about a party that he was at last night and and about all the energy drinks that were flowing and how, you know, in his, his dorm and, and pretty much everywhere on campus that uh, everywhere you turn there's, there's energy drinks and, and kids are drinking lots of energy drinks and living on them and surviving, getting through, uh, you know, long days of, of classes and studying and exams and, and long nights of uh, working on papers and studying and, and with little sleep and, and using the energy drinks to, to keep them moving. And, and it reminded me of a, a report that I read, uh, actually it was almost a year ago, and um, it was about energy drinks may raise the risk for alcohol problems. And it says this phenomenon is called wide awake drunkenness and can lead to risky or even life-threatening behaviors. And this was uh, WebMD of uh, November 16th of, of 2010. And it says, drinking energy drinks daily or even on a, wake, a weekly basis may increase your risk of developing alcohol problems. So if you only had one a week, this can, can raise your risk. In the new study of more than 1,000 college students, people who drank energy beverages 52 or more times a year were more than twice as likely as non-users to meet criteria for alcohol dependence. In addition, such high-frequency users were more likely to get drunk at an earlier age, drink more in one sitting, black out, and or experience hangover symptoms that limited their usual activities, the study showed. Overall, more than 60% of college students drank an energy beverage at some point in the past year, and 10.1% had these drinks weekly, and 2.6% daily or almost daily. People that drink these energy beverages daily or weekly need to be careful about alcohol consumption. When alcohol and energy drinks are drunk together, the caffeine helps to diagnose intoxication so you can drink more without realizing that you're drunk. You're more intoxicated and more revved up, and that's quite dangerous. When you consume alcohol and energy drinks at the same time, it prolongs the drinking episode because it decreases your perceived level of intoxication so you can drink for longer periods of time. So folks, you know, I, I always talk about the importance of drinking water and making water your, your beverage of choice. And, and whether it's, uh, you know, the liquid cans of sugar, the sodas, or the energy, inks, energy drinks, or uh, alcohol, or whatever it is you're drinking, uh, those beverages uh, can be very dangerous and, and very harmful to your health. And yet water is a, a very natural source. It's, it's a source of, of supplementation for your body that, that brings your body alive. Our, our bodies are 98% water. And, and I get so concerned, you know, when I hear people tell me they never drink water. And quite honestly, I used to be one of those folks. Other than uh, some water that I might have gotten while I brushed my teeth in the morning, I pretty much, uh, you know, used to live on coffee and used to live on, on Coke or Diet Coke. And um, I was very unhealthy. I was 110 pounds overweight. And uh, that wasn't just from, from the coffee and the Coke, obviously. It was all the crappy food I was eating and the lack of exercise, but the lack of water certainly didn't help. Now there's studies out there that also talk about how, you know, if you uh, uh, don't really have to worry so much about drinking uh, water, how much water you drink, that you're going to get plenty of water from the beverages you are drinking and, and from the vegetables and the fruit that you eat. But here's what I have seen over the last, what, uh, 14 years of, of facilitating people in, in losing weight is that the people who drink you know, roughly 64 ounces of water a day, eight, eight, eight ounce glasses a day, that those folks have an easier time at losing weight and tend to lose the weight, let go of the weight faster than those who don't. And we had a conversation with, with someone yesterday that 
uh, was going away for a weekend and we were talking about um, you know alcohol consumption and she was actually going to an Oktoberfest and there was going to be beer there and and I said go enjoy have a good time that when you're away on this weekend and staying overnight in hotels and eating in restaurants don't expect to lose weight but you don't have to gain the goal would be to maintain over those three days and I also talked to her about alcohol and two things first of all is that um, hypnosis would work with her but I could do hypnosis on a bottle of beer all day long and get nowhere and after about the second drink I might as well be talking to the bottle of beer. Uh, so never more than two alcoholic beverages, whether it's glasses of wine, shots, mixed drinks, beers, whatever at a time. But the other thing I talked to her about was the importance of drinking water and that for every drink she had, whether it was a shot, a mixed drink, a glass of wine, or a bottle of beer, to have two 12-ounce glasses of water before the next drink. And you know what, folks, if you have a beer, you have two 12-ounce glasses of water, you have a second beer, then before you think about having another drink have, of, of alcohol, have two more 12-ounce glasses of water. And if you still want that beer or that drink, okay, but most likely you're going to be totally satisfied with uh, one beer and two 12-ounce glasses of water, or a glass of wine and two 12-ounce glasses of water. You're just not going to want more. And so folks, uh, if you're using energy drinks or your, your kids, your family is using energy drinks, I'd really urge you to stop using energy drinks for, for your health, for your wellness, and uh, to drink water and uh, you know, work with your kids and talk with them about the importance of water and, and the uh, ill health effects of, of drinking the energy drinks. And if you think you just don't like water, well then consider hypnosis. Because hypnosis can really help you create a healthy desire for water and crave water and thirst for water and, and just allow each and every sip of water to cool you, to calm you, to soothe you, to relax you. I'm Roger Moore and this is Hypnosis Health Info.